and welcome back to my Myrtle Beach real estate video blog where I'm bringing you relevant topics about our local real estate market here along the Grand Strand. So thanks as always for joining me and I'm honored today to have Buddy Hux with me. Uh, Buddy's a good friend and a true professional here. Uh, Buddy owns the firm EF Hux and Associates. Uh, they're an appraisal and consulting firm. Buddy's been doing appraisals here for over 30 years and uh, he does trend analysis, market studies, and development consulting. And there's no doubt about it, Buddy is the go-to guy when we look to market stats and trend analysis. He's been tracking numbers forever, uh, and we're going to talk about some of these numbers today. I hope that this will be, you know, bring some, um, just really enlighten you on what's happening in the market from, from a pure number side. And Buddy's got some great insight for us. We'll post it later, but it's efhux.com. Make sure you check that out. And his phone number is 843-443-3159. So, Buddy, thanks for being here with me. Thank you, Greg. What I've done, I just prepared a few questions, and we'll just uh, go from there. So, you know, Buddy, when we, we look at uh, trends, and I know you're an expert in those, what are you seeing trends right now in our marketplace? What are you seeing? Well, Greg, one thing that we do is we track deeds, and we've been tracking deeds since the mid-1990s. So MLS systems have merged and changed a lot, but in our deed tracking, what, what we're finding is the last couple of years have actually been an uptick. Um, 2009 was a tough year following yeah. the events of 2008, yeah. and uh, so the last couple of years have been small increases but at least they aren't the negative trends that we've seen. Gotcha and when you talk about the up from 0, not 08 you're talking about in units or pricing? Total closing. Just the units closed. And then okay. as you break that down we break things down into home sales both resale and new, condos new and resale, lot sales, commercial sales and then vacant land. Yeah okay good. And by the way, just a side note, you can sign up for Buddy's uh, newsletter that he does monthly with all this stuff, uh, all the numbers broken out, and uh, go to his website to do that. What, what about, we, everybody wants to know about a recovery and things when things are humming along again, but what are some driving factors, Buddy, that, that have to occur you know, in our market for us to see? Nobody wants, we're not expecting 30% appreciation in, in a month like we got in 05, 06, but how about that good healthy appreciation? You know, four, six percent were just kind of well, trending up. What's got to happen? Well, I told, I joked about the, what was happening in the mid 2000s that it was kind of musical chairs and everybody better get in the right chair. Yeah. Well, the same thing needs to happen now is, is some of these uh, properties need to get absorbed, and they yeah. are. I mean, the yeah. existing condo inventory is really depleting being depleted and there's not any new condos taking place so you can expect there a little firming up in prices and um, then certainly um, we could use some jobs yeah. and more people moving to Myrtle Beach for permanent residency um, and possibly that's going to happen but a lot of us in confidence yeah. and there's a, a lack of confidence among some people but my theory has been, and I've seen in many cycles, is when you're at the darkest hour, sometimes that's the best time to move. Yeah. And uh, I've, I'm seeing people now make some very good purchases and even, you know, on paper making some money today. Yeah. Yeah. So, but most importantly, people are getting to buy their dream house or their dream second home at half price. That's right. And how can you beat that? That's right. That's, that's exactly and right. And money is flowing to those type properties. I have a saying that uh, the money is going to flow to the distressed and to the best. And then, when they're gone, then it's going to flow to the rest. That's right. Yeah. And now we're seeing that distress being absorbed, aren't we? We, we are. And, and a lot of, you know, properties, I... I I know some people that were not distressed, but they put the best property out there, and it's and it's sold. That's right, because there's a lot of reasons to buy now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, real estate. But um, the good news in Myrtle Beach, we average and we'll have this year over ten thousand closings. Yeah, 
and uh, in the peak we had 30,000, but a lot of those were flippers. But 10,000 closings, a billion and a half dollars yeah. worth of sales volume is a, is a lot of money flowing, and we have a very viable real estate market. Yes, and, and we didn't talk about this a lot. We talked a lot before we started this, this shoot, but I'm going to go off script a little bit. You talked about 2000, or say early 2000s, and you've even done some analysis where you take out the crazy what, 05, 06, kind of those spike years, when you talked about a billion and a half in volume, 10,000 closings, off the cuff, because I'm asking you off the cuff, buddy, was that around 02, 03, at least in units sold? Are we back to that that timeline? Um, total volume of Yeah, closings. just just more so in units sold, uh, back in 02, 03. Well, condos it? are actually exceeding the levels up into the early 2000s. See, and that's... And so total volume, though, is, is, is dated back further than that. Because of the prices. Okay. That's right. Okay, good. Now, one more question, buddy. What do you... This is what I get this question all the time from our viewers. And What do you see in the next 18 to 24 months? And we can talk about the charts and all the, the market stats, but... What are your thoughts moving next, the short run, 18 to 24 months in our marketplace? I really think that, that we're going to, it's going to be more positive than negative. I think there'll be yeah. more sales volume. Okay. There may be some continued decline in pricing due to distressed sales. Yes. And, and the facts are these banks are cleaning their books of distressed properties and that's a great opportunity to, to buy some. But once they're gone, um, you know, it's going to be too late to that's miss right. that cycle mm -hmm. um, of opportunity. Yeah. So I see volume picking up. Okay. And I see some people, you know, getting some good properties that they may not be able to flip them overnight, but mm -hmm. fundamentally you shouldn't do that. That's you right. should buy what you desire and what you intend to hold and get the normal use and enjoyment out right. of. Yeah. Speculators cause more pain than they do gain in the long run. <laughs> okay. And we've had our dose of that. Yes, we have. But they're out now. They're not they're not active today. Yes. As much. True. True. Well, you know, you got dropped some good pearls on us, uh, buddy, uh, of wisdom, and I'm really grateful that you could be with us uh, today. Uh, if you got any questions about market stats or trends, uh, you can always email me and I can get you buddy's information. Uh, but his, his information is down at the bottom. It's efhux.com. And I look forward to talking to you next time. Thanks for joining us.